Welcome back to my channel. Make it here. I, I, fun fact, guys. I'm, I've been having a really bad day. This is my second recording of the day. Uh, so I just felt like I needed a positive outlet. And what better way than to make videos for my people, which is, you know, all of you. So thank you for coming back, guys. On a serious note, I really really appreciate you guys i love to see your comments and all of your positivity it's really rewarding so i was just looking through my channel and i'm like okay let me make another video because like you guys make me feel like a good person okay So anyway, today we are going to be recording a Second Life how-to for Monday, okay? Let me calm down so you guys can understand me because right now I am on 10. I'm a little bit stressed out, so let me saw it down so that we can learn something today. I've sure to wear my teacher glasses because I feel like in Second Life how-tos, I want you guys to see that... I know what I'm talking about and I wear glasses on real life and when I have my glasses on people take my word like it's just fact like anything I say when you have on glasses like people like really take your information and they don't question it but without glasses they're like what where are your glasses like glasses confirm info so let me see if I can find some glasses Praying at a slow jam, looking at my inventory, mm, for some glasses, for the watches, and for me, boom, boom. Praying at a slow jam, found my glasses in my inventory, put them on. Hmm, they might be old, but they're not ugly. Alright, so today in this video, we are going to be learning how to change the color of your UI aka your UI aka your UI I'm just joking guys UI stands for user interface <laughs> the easiest way to do that is to press Control P together simultaneously and your preference panel would pop up now if you don't want to do a shortcut if you like doing things the hard way because you want to go through a struggle so everyone knows you're about that life just go to avatar and then select preferences and see even right here it tells you girl next time you better pick control p stop trying to act like you want to go through a struggle when you don't have to it says it right there if you don't read the words that are right in front of you then i don't know what to tell you so you can just go ahead and click that if you want to do it the long way so anyway select control p at the same time guys not at different times write in your preferences all the way down if you're using firestorm mind you for this tutorial we are using fire storm I will link firestorm down below but it's a very useful tool to connect to the second life grid there are some other you know platforms out there but I prefer Firestorm so again Firestorm if you're using the Second Life viewer if you're using catnips if you're using I don't know whatever is out there I just please don't say Mika I can't find it I'm gonna say but did you use Firestorm and you're gonna say no and I'm gonna be like that's where you went wrong anyway step one Go to the area that says skins. See? Control P, skins. Right now I have a pink theme for my user interface. So right here you'll see the first drop down menu and it's going to say skin. There are several different main skins. There is the Ansa Storm, and they have bright blue, classic brown. Ectoplasma, they have blood. So, if you're into the very dark theme, Ansa Storm may be for you. They also have the Firestorm skins, which come in gray, dark, 
Blue, High Contrast, and Control Alt Studio. Which basically they're just all different shades of gray. So then there are the latency skins, which is I love the way they named their stuff. It's either extra play and that's all you get they don't have nothing else it's just extra playing girl it's nothing there's no personality you don't have pizzazz it's just plain that's all you get so if you like your user interface to be extra plain by all means latency better you heard it here first okay now you have the meta harper modern which comes in cool ocean. They do have more. Alapa chain sky girl. They look the same. No shade, no shade, no shade. And black glass. Now I'm not for dark colors, but black glass is another favorite of mine. I do like the color black. Uh, fun fact. Um, on Second Life, I wore the color black for maybe like eight months straight. That's all I wore. Black is like my thing. I don't know. So this uh, skin is probably my third favorite. And now we have the beautiful Starlight skins, which are really nice. They have the original orange. They also have original teal. Mono teal, which is just a very light theme with teal accent. They have nostalgia blue, which is like old school second life. They have silver blue and my favorite, silver pink. I remember one time years ago, one of the viewers had like a watermelon theme. I forget what it was. If you know, comment down below. But it was like this cute watermelon red and like green and it was just one of my favorite skins. I don't know what happened to it. Now we have Starlight CUI. They have custom dark and custom light. And then last we have the vintage skin which is just the classic Second Life classic skin. So what you want to do is you want to select what you want for the purpose of this video. We're going to change over to, let's do, let's do latency extra plane. No, I don't want to do that because if I get lazy, I don't want to be stuck with it. Let's do mono teal. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, we're going to switch to mono teal just so you can see how these steps will take you to a different skin for your viewer. So again, control P, skins, select your skin, and then go ahead to their color scheme and change the color scheme. And then they have other choices here, reset toolbars to the skin's preferred layout. It's not necessary to do that. If you have your toolbars customized, I recommend leaving them there unless you don't care about your toolbars. And then it says reset toolbars to the login modes preferred layout when changing login modes. Uh, you can do that. I don't know if I'm going to do that. It's not necessary. And then it says use viewer one style cursors. I don't feel like doing that. So. In order to change your skin, it's going to require you to do a restart. So what we're going to do now is we're going to press OK. But then it says showing your current location and the menu bar was disabled as a default for the Starlight Skin series. And then I'm just going to click do not show me this again because I'm not sure if I really care about that. And then it's going to prompt you to restart Firestorm. Remember, Firestorm. There are other skins on different viewers, but this tutorial is Firestorm based. However, the steps will be similar for the other viewers. So you can definitely take this and experience um, changing skins yourself like in other viewers. So like, just remember that I'm doing this with the Firestorm viewer. But um, 
we're back and as you see already we went from pink to like this grayish color so that is a sign that your skin has changed okay guys so why i may not have rest in yet you can see that the skin is now that light color and it's highlighted in teal if you select so it's a fairly easy fix i'm just going to go ahead and switch my skin back to where i want it which is silver pink because i'm nika and nika does silver pink now if they had a yellow one i think there was a yellow one a long time ago but if they had yellow i would be so here for it but yeah so that is how you change your skin for your interface let me zoom in now that i've rezzed This has been a Second Life how-to video with Mika Snow. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. It's been fun. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!